Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. It is great to have you here checking out this vid. Appreciate your time and your support. If this is your first time coming on by Team My Project 13, check out what's going on, watch a few videos, and if you dig what you're seeing, what you're hearing, please subscribe. Thumbs up, shout out to Razor for continuously, continuously supporting this device, this smartphone. I will be leaving a couple video links down below in the description area so you can check out some of my earlier Razer videos. And at the end of this video, I'll be adding in a pic slideshow utilizing the new Razer portrait mode. And we're gonna go in the camera area and check out what that looks like as well. So let's go ahead and get to the information here. New software update is available for Razer phone. This update includes take fantastic portrait shots with new portrait mode updated privacy policy for general data protection regulation compliance, May security update, bug fixes, and performance improvements. I don't know what they need to do to improve on performance, man. This, this device is a performer. 120 hertz refresh rate, amazing. It is the smoothest device I have in-house. Update size, 366.3 megabytes, download and install. So we're gonna install this and then I'll be right back. I do not want to make this video too long, but I cannot make any promises, so please hang in there with me. But I think it's only fair that I give you an update before we get to the OTA software update for the Razer phone on my experience with this device from day one to now. From the moment I first unboxed it, set it up, and started using it, I've had no issues whatsoever. I've had a phenomenal experience, an amazing experience with the Razer phone, period, as a phone making and receiving phone calls, sending text messages, receiving text messages. Everything has worked great as far as connectivity here where I live locally with my carrier T-Mobile, 4G LTE, okay? No issues whatsoever. That may be different for you. I'm only giving you my experience in that area when it comes to using this device, this smartphone as a phone. As far as performance, functionality, battery life from day one to now, everything working great, no issues whatsoever. With the software updates that it has received and it has continued to receive, again, shout out to Razer, no issues whatsoever when it comes to performance, functionality, and battery life. From Nougat to Oreo 8.1, no issues whatsoever. There have been a few changes. You have a different look now to the Dolby app. And we now have if we go down to display in advanced, you have this option called colors that gives you natural, boosted, and vivid. That is awesome for your visual experience when watching videos and movies. And whether you utilize this or not, double tap lock screen to sleep. I don't use that, but there are a few changes there. Nougat to Oreo has enhanced our experience with this device. For those of you who own this device, who invested your money into it, I'm hoping that you are enjoying your time with your Razer phone, that you are enjoying the updates, the continuous support that we're getting. You, you gotta be stoked, you gotta be stoked. So that, in short, has been my experience with this device. There's a lot more that I'm not covering that I don't have time for. You can ask anything that you want to as far as when it comes to this device down below in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer. If you're having any issues whatsoever, let me know and I'll do my best to help you or direct you in a way that may help, okay? So with that being said, we need to get to the software update and see what we got. We now have the new software update installed. We're gonna go into settings, to system, about phone, and there you can see Android security patch level May 5th, 2018. So we are up to date. And now we're going to go into the Razer Stock Camera app. I did have the Google Camera APK. I made a video comparing both cameras, the stock up against the APK. And I got a lot of views, feedback from that video. I'll probably leave that down below in the description area so you can check that video out. And um, it did enhance my experience with the Razer uh, smartphone utilizing that 
Google Camera APK. But since then, I have uninstalled it because I really just want to ride on this journey, this progression that we got going on here with Razer and updating this device uh, periodically. And um, man, they're doing a great job. And I just want to see the difference between um, now and from the beginning when I first picked up this device. And I hope some of you are actually doing that. And if you do have the APK, whatever APK you have, I hope you're going back and forth and just checking out the difference from when you first picked up this device to now. It's, you know, I, it, some of you are going to be uh, a lot more trained and in the uh, photography and videography area than I am. But outside of doing what I do here on YouTube and for the team, I, I'm not too picky. I really am not. I've really enjoyed this device from the beginning to now when it comes to the camera experience, whether I'm taking pictures, shooting video. Uh, what we basically have here is a simple interface. We don't have panorama mode. We don't have slow mode. We don't have filters. This is just basic and simple. Uh, you got your two time zoom right there. Uh, really easy to use. And up top you have your flash, HDR, grid, and timer. And uh, well, you can go to the front camera and you can go to your pictures right up there on the right hand corner and if you want to go over to video you just slide over and now we can shoot some video there as well but we're going to go back to the camera upper left hand corner we're going to tap on that little grid there and that's where we get settings and the new portrait mode now we're going to go into settings so you can look at um, that layout right there Okay, uh, and you can shoot video in 4K. You got 1080p HD, 720p HD. Okay, in the front, that is what you got there. And if there's anything you want to tell Razer, let them know through the feedback when it comes to the camera area, because obviously this company is listening because they are continuously updating this device. So uh, let's go back to get into portrait mode. So basically, um, it's going to uh, want you to focus on your subject. And when you are, you're going to snap a picture. Um, if you're too close, it's going to let you know that you're, you're too close and it's not going to work like right there. Move back. So it's telling you what you need to do. So now what I'm going to do is um, go out and take some pictures. I'm going to create that pick slideshow and I will edit that together to this part of the video and again you're gonna let me know what you think thanks to all of you for uh, hanging in there uh, in this on this uh, software update for the razor phone again you got to be stoked you got to be excited man shout out to razor enjoy the pick slideshow